Alright guys, welcome to another PBR Wi-Fi battle. This time I'm going to be running a hail team, and this is probably the first time I've actually done it. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I hate hail teams because there's hardly anything you can do with them. But, um, I'm still looking for a Pokemon to run in hail. Right now I'm using basic ones, but, uh, let's just, uh, get on with this. If you guys know any good Pokemon that I can run in hail, that won't be too much of a burden, let me know, because I've been working on storm teams for a while now. Now on to the battle. I started with Obama Snow, they started with Rapid Ash. Of course I'm going to start with Obama Snow just to get the snow warning and get the hail up. And of course I'm going to switch out because I do not like the odds of Rapid Ash going against my Obama Snow. And I want to save Obama Snow for later. So I'm going to go into my wall rain. This is, of course, one of those ice body wall rains. Only difference is that mine is not running protect with substitute. Mine is substitute, stockpile, surf, and blizzard. Now, that's probably a common set considering that a lot of people probably run that considering it works. But, um,. Most of the wall rains I've seen are always running Protect, Substitute, and Sheer Cold. So, the people on PBR are actually not familiar with this wall rain. So, he's going to go for Hypnosis, and of course it's going to miss, which allows me to set up my Substitute. He should really not use Hypnosis. I'm going to try and stop running Hypnosis as well. The only Pokemon that I really run it on is Persian. Ever since that accuracy dropped to 60%, Hypnosis has just been crappy. But uh, anyway, I get my sub up, I'm going to heal up with Hail and with Leftovers, which is a very good combination, which everybody should know by now. And now I'm going to start setting up the stockpiles to boost up my defenses as much as possible before I decide to go on the offensive. So, as we wait for him to make his move, which he finally does, he's going to go for a Solar Beam. He's got the power herb, so he's going to be able to use it first turn. That, of course, is going to break my substitute because even though Wall Rain is bulky, it is not bulky enough to take a solar beam. This is a physical wall, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Every Pokemon on my team is raised a special way. I have one lead, two attackers, two wallers, and a supporter. So, my first stockpile is up, and he's going to keep getting damaged by hail. Note that I do not use Protect on any of my Pokemon, actually, now that I think about it. I have a Hail Team, not one of my Pokemon uses Protect. Each one of them is like a setup. So anyway, I'm going to substitute again. Most likely he's going to try and Hypnosis. And he does and ends up putting me to sleep this time. So I don't know how long I'm going to stay asleep, but I have to be ready for whatever he decides to throw. And my phone just died. Hold on, guys. Man, I hate this. Okay, so he calls back Rapid Ash, and I'm going to keep my uh, my wall rain in just to hope it wakes up. It does get the first turn wake up. I get the substitute up. He sends in a Nido King. I don't know what he's planning with that thing, because Nido Kings, well, they're not really predictable. I mean, I run a special Nido King with choice specs. I don't know if he's going to be running one, or if he's going to be running a fully physical one, or if he just switched in to use Fisher. No, or was it Horn Drill? It learned one one-hit knockout technique. I think it was Horn Drill. It probably learns Fisher too, but I don't give a damn. And. I've become very dirty mouthed in these last couple of <laughs> these last couple of months. Before I used to be clean mouthed, and now I just say whatever comes to mind. I gotta work on that. So anyway, he goes for Thunderbolt. So he's definitely running a either a special Nido King or a mixed Nido King. And of course, that's gonna break my substitute. Even with one stock pile up, or did I have two? Eh, who cares? So anyway, I go for a Surf. That's not going to be able to take it. Needle King is going to go down instantly. That is one Pokemon out of the way, and we have just two left. One is Rapid Ash, and one I don't believe we know yet. The only thing we're going to have to do is just wait for it to come out. I got to start running Toxic on Hail Teams too. 
So, next Pokemon he sends out is Blastoise. Now, I really don't have too much that can handle a Blastoise. Of course, uh, Walrein won't be able to do anything. If I had Toxic, I would definitely be able to, so I'm gonna have to switch out here. But, the battle actually ends here because he decides to give up. He probably thought my Walrein was running to- well, he actually, no, he couldn't think that. Oh yeah, yeah he could, because uh, I didn't use Blizzard yet. But, uh, he figures that he can't beat me, which he probably couldn't anyway. So, he decides to give up. So, that's the battle, guys, and I will see you next time. Game, set, and match. The red corner has decided to give up.